Okay, so if there is a centripetal acceleration, according to Newton's second law, there must also be a force. If there is a linear acceleration, there must be a force. And that force is called a centripetal force. And just like centripetal acceleration, this is a center-seeking force. It is always inward, because that's what the word centripetal means. Um, and the centripetal force is technically the net force in the in direction. This is the centripetal force. Now, the net force in the in direction, and it causes circular motion. Because the net force in the in direction equals the mass times the centripetal acceleration according to Newton's second law. Sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. If you sum the forces in the in direction, it's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration in the in direction, which by definition is the centripetal acceleration. There are three things I want you to remember about the centripetal force. Number one, it is not a new force. Unlike other forces we studied in this class, force normal, force of tension, force of gravity, force of static friction, all of those forces are all like independent forces of their own. Whereas the centripetal force is simply the net force in the indirection. So it might be a tension force, it might be a force of static friction, it might be a force of gravity, it might be a combination of those various forces because it is only the net force in the in direction. Because it is not a new force, it is never in a free body diagram. Because it's just the net force in the in direction. So it's never in a free body diagram. And last one, in is positive, and therefore out is negative. In is positive, out is negative.